And how are we supposed to explain that during every ceremony, 30% of our audience disappears into thin air? Hi, I'm Steven Weiss, and we're here to talk about the film Broken Spirits. I have with me Richard Epcar, film and voice actor, and one of the stars of the film Broken Spirits. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do, your career, and everything? Hi, I'm Richard Epcar, and uh, I'm an actor, director. I'm, uh, I've done film, television, and stage, and, uh, but I'm mostly known for my voice work. I've done over 500 characters in uh, games and animation. I'm the voice of the Joker in several Batman games. I'm Raiden in Mortal Kombat. I'm Ansem in Kingdom Hearts and Bateau in Ghost in the Shell. I'm in pretty much every game franchise there is, including Resident Evil, Final Fantasy, Skyrim, and on and on and on. So I've been doing this for a long time. How did you end up uh, being in uh, the film Broken Spirits? Uh, well, actually it was through my, uh, my association with you. and. Uh, you basically asked me if I would be interested in doing your film one day, and I said, "Yeah, I'd love to because I, you know, I love to do on camera as well." And uh, I think originally you had me uh, slated to play uh, Vic's dad. Which, <laughs> My dad too. Uh, uh, oh, your dad. That's right. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's a good point. Uh, and uh, I, I think we kind of talked about it. and I kind of wanted something uh, a little uh, meatier, I think, and. Uh, and you guys came up with uh, me for the part of Godric, which I'm really happy about. I think it worked out really well. Right, and I'm very glad we did. I would like you to tell us about the character Godric that you play in the film. <laughs> Godric is a great character. He's really fun. He's, he's kind of a shady shaman, and uh, he runs a sweat lodge out in the desert, and he charges people to come in, and, uh, and he gives them these, these platitudes and, uh, and talks about different things while they're in the sweat lodge. Of course all the while getting money from them. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, he's kind of, he's a little shady. He's kind of a, a guy that kind of takes advantage of people, I think. But uh, what's nice through the course of the film is uh, he, he turns it around a little bit and, and becomes more of a noble character. And I think it's, uh, it's really kind of a nice character arc that he goes through. We spent many days shooting in the desert, in the Mojave Desert. We did. What was that experience like for you? It was, it was a little tough, I gotta tell you. There, was, there were scenes where I would be, you know, talking to somebody like in this proximity and the wind was blowing really heavy and it was super hot. And there would be particles of sand blowing in your eyes while you're trying to say your lines and try to keep your eyes open without you know, tearing up or, you know, closing your eyes and blinking a million times. So right. it was, that part was, uh, was very uh, uh, challenging, let's say. Right. I would say grueling. Yeah, it was a little grueling. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice, but yeah, it was right. a little grueling. Yeah, it was. That was, that was uh, a fun experience, that's for sure. It was super hot out there, and it was, uh, but it was, it was fun. I mean, it was really a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed the actual filming of it. It was, it, we had a great time working on it, so it was great. Great. Yeah. So Richard, we actually had a, a pretty large cast. Yeah, we did. <laughs> including a lot of people that you may have worked with uh, in the voiceover world. Yes. But uh, what, were, what were some of the highlights of working with some of the different uh, actors that you had scenes with? You know, whether they were the voice actors or the other actors in the film. Well, it, it was really fun uh, working with Spike. Spike and I always have a great time. We always laugh a lot. Yeah. So we, uh, we <laughs> when we were doing our, our, our uh, you know, our fight scenes. It, we had a we had a hard time not cracking up and laughing because we were just having so much fun and being silly, and uh, so it was really fun. But uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, I, I've worked with everybody uh, uh, with Christina and with uh, Vic and Spike, of course, and uh, and you. I've worked with you also. Right. Yeah. So I've I worked with uh, pretty much everybody on on the show that I knew, and I met some wonderful new friends. Uh, like Greg was great, and. Uh, you know, just uh, wonderful people. Axel, who I'd never met before, she was great. And so, yeah, we, uh, we had a great time. All right, Richard, I'm going to show you uh, some clips from the film. <laughs> okay. And, uh, <laughs> that you may or may not have seen. And I uh, would like to, to get your comments on what you think, what's happening during the scene, and all, right. and all that good, good stuff. <laughs> okay, well, in this scene... Uh, what happens is is that uh, in in Godric's sweat lodge, uh, they find out that there's there's a vortex that goes to a, like a demon world, another world, and so some of the people that come to the sweat lodge are being sucked into the vortex. And he 
wants to figure out how to get from the real world to the other world. And he's going through all of his ceremony and nothing's working, so he's very frustrating. And then, and then he, uh, he kind of figures it out and uh, he realizes he can actually go from this world into the other world. So uh, this uh, reporter, a journalist, comes to investigate this whole situation with the, with the lodge and everything, the sand and sweat lodge. And, uh, and she's basically trying to debunk uh, Godric, you know, and, and show him to be a charlatan. And he's, he's kind of onto her, and he doesn't like her, and he thinks he's, she's kind of full of it, so... <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm, I'm having fun, and I'm, I'm enjoying this, actually. And uh, Avi, who, who plays my partner, basically is a lot more concerned about the money aspect of the sweat lodge. He wants to make a lot of money. He wants to, you know, which, I mean, I want to make money, too, but I'm also enjoying, I think I'm enjoying being the leader of this situation. Yeah. And uh, in this particular scene, one of the people that, disappeared before re reappears and they they say wait a minute here's that guy you know so they kind of get a sense of him that that he's kind of up to no good mm. yeah all right oh. now you mentioned uh army of darkness yes and uh i remember during the shoot you had some nice uh sideburns going for your yeah. character <laughs> yes i did now a couple people mentioned something about a bruce campbell vibe Do they you, uh... they said i re was very reminiscent of bruce campbell in this movie which i i feel it's a very high compliment i i love bruce campbell i think he's a great great actor and really terrific so uh i think it's great and i i feel that it was very similar in many ways the the movie uh you know it's obviously it's a very different kind of a thing and a different kind of a story but it's uh, it's kind of kind of got that kind of vibe of it, you know. Yeah. So now that you've you've seen uh, very close to the final product yeah. of the film, uh, what would you what would you tell the audiences that they they would you know be expecting to see out of this film? Well, first of all, I think it's a great movie. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you if you're into any kind of sci-fi or adventure or a thriller or anything along those lines, it has all of those elements in it. And I think it's very entertaining. And you've got some great, if you're fans of anime or, or animation or games, there's a lot of uh, voice actors that you'll recognize and know and be able to actually see them on screen for the first time instead of just hearing their voice. So I think it's kind of a cool thing in that respect. And I think, uh, you know, if, if, if it's kind of along the lines of, a, you know, uh, uh, like an Army of Darkness kind of a movie, that sort of a thing that where you, you know, I think people just really kind of get sucked into these movies and really enjoy them and and hopefully you know we'll we'll make more well there'll be gold uh you know broken spirits too coming up soon so well i certainly wouldn't complain about that i wouldn't either i would love that so it's a little bit of camp yeah but not too much not too much and there's some stuff that happens that can be absolutely taken seriously and but there is humor in it which makes it fun and entertaining and there is action and there is adventure and there is you know, it's thrilling, and uh, I mean, it just has a lot of elements in it of, of things that are just really fun, you know, like Indiana Jones and that kind of stuff. It's got, like, those elements in it, so it's really, I think people will really enjoy it and, and want to see it. All right. Well, thanks, Richard Epcar, for being here to talk Thank about you. the film uh, Broken Spirits. We'll hope that you will watch the movie when it comes out soon. You better. Let them go to an unknown fate. When the sun sets, those three shall die.